typical a typical foam or any kind of typical product that's going to try to protect you from impact is actually going to try to do something different than G-Form. What they want to try to do is slow down the rate that something comes in contact with it. That at the point of impact, then there'll be less transfer of force. So a, the same kind of foam that's in your in your running shoes, an EVA is going to serve like a spring. And in theory, what we would want to have happen is that that foam slows the bowling ball down enough that before it gets to the M&Ms, nothing bad will happen. Now, of course. It's just way too much of an aggressive force of this bowling ball on that block of concrete to not hurt these M&Ms. So if you, if you look over here, that's the result of the competitive material. There's just no way you can keep the bowling ball from coming in contact with the concrete. And that energy has to go somewhere. Part of the energy is going into the M&Ms, as you can see. The other part is when the bowling ball meets the concrete, there's so much energy, it actually sends the bowling ball back up again. That's the bounce. G-Form is doing something different. As soft and flexible as this material is, you guys can see this is a soft thing, upon abrupt impact, it's going to stiffen. And it's that, it's that stiffening process that needs an energy to execute. The energy comes from the impact. Now watch the difference when the ball hits the pad this time and the bounce. Now the reason you've got that deadening is because the bowling ball would have to get to the concrete in order to have enough energy to send it back up again. Now come, if you look at the candies on this side. Amazing. And look how thin a profile this is. You can applaud if you want. <laughs> See, that's not even a quarter inch thick and the EVA, EVA foam was a full quarter inch thick. So anywhere you don't have room, you need a very thin profile, but you need aggressive impact protection, the G-Form RPT will be able to do the job. Uh, can this be modified for ballistics? Sure, so depending on what um, application you're trying to do, whether if you wanted aggressive ballistics like bulletproof, G the, the the composite construction that we have patents on is using a foam core with a different top material and a different bottom material. This happens to be a polyester fabric with a TPU top layer. But you can imagine if we had a Kevlar material on one side and the G-Form on the other, right. now not only would you stop a bullet, typical Kevlar will stop a bullet, but it won't stop the back force deformation and a soldier or a police officer will still have a broken bone or internal bleeding. Now the Kevlar stops the bullet and the G-Form RPT can spread the load so so you can prevent injury to the inside as well. Interesting. There are, there are many, many things we can do. Okay. We are doing some work with the military. Okay. Um, but the you know the first and easy places for us to go are athletics right. and consumer electronics. Okay. And uh, what's your company again? G-Form. G-Form.com. Right. Thank you.